tell y'all what happened to me this morning. OMG. So I am going out of the house, you know, getting in the car, getting ready to come to work like I do every morning. So I open the door and I go out of the door and a tree frog jumped on the side of my neck. Oh my God. <laughs> when I tell y'all, I almost had a fit. I almost died like right then and there, like for real, for real. But you know, somehow I survived it and I was like, oh, oh, and I threw the frog on the side step. And so by this time, my son Q, you know, he heard his mom in distress, so he's running down trying to check on me. Really had to get his book bag out of the car. But anyway, he was like, what is going on? So we, <laughs> I was like, a frog jumped on the side of my neck. And so the frog was still like, sitting there on the little concrete part of the steps. And so I was like, well, Q, don't kill it. Just let it go. So he put his foot towards the little frog and evidently I must have knocked the frog out or something because the frog was not moving or either he was dead or whatever. But hey, that was the excitement that happened to me this morning. So when I go back home, if that frog is still, you know, sitting there, you know, RIP to the little tree frog, but that should let them know. Don't jump on the side of somebody's neck and scare them half to death. All right. R.I.P. to the frog.